we see it's very similar with Twitter, right? Their their slogan, right? They were for free sp free speech back in what was it, 2015 or 2016? They were all about the free speech, but obviously that's not true. And I think what we're gonna see here, this is just you know, my conclusion is that a lot of a lot more people, a lot more people are gonna be exposed because as much as I can't stand the Democratic Party, they are completely corrupt scumbags they do stuff they talk they push the line they 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 ruffle feathers they're they're completely crazy and none of their ideas are any good but they do stuff i think what we're going to see on the right wing is a lot of republicans doing nothing because they have always been fairly spineless right so while you have uh don jr and aoc agreeing on these things I think a lot of the other right wingers, you know, longtime swamp creatures aren't going to do anything. Um, I could be wrong. Maybe they will. Obviously, this has to be investigated. I mean, I don't I, I have an, a Robin Hood account. I've, I've honestly never used it. But it's hilarious to get these emails like, oh, we we've had such a tough day and we just did it for your safety. And, you know, we're going to don't worry, we're going to let you trade again tomorrow. But but limit it. So there's going to be a cap on how much you can, how much you can trade, um, you know, this this GME or AMC stock starting tomorrow. So, I mean, did they not? I guess my question is, were they so scared and so offended that the people they were protecting were more important than a a bottom line of providing the service that you claim to provide? So obviously the backlash was terrible. I mean, when you have Don Jr. and AOC agreeing on something, that's how you know you really stepped in it. But what are they so afraid of that they threw everything out the window? Their whole system, they threw it out the window to protect a couple of guys at a hedge fund? How is this happening? So I don't know if, I guess it's the SEC that needs to look into this, but something needs to happen. And I, unfortunately, don't see it coming from anybody on the right. Maybe Matt Gates. I don't even know whose job it is. AOC did tweet that she was part of some sort of financial committee or something. But obviously, I can't trust her as far as I can throw her because while she, you know, she she's boisterous, her solutions are almost are almost surely going to be incorrect, right? She's just going to probably say, "Well, <laughs> we should just do away with the market." Complete. You know what I mean? She's going to. We're we're when you see eye to eye with AOC on something, you can almost guarantee that you're not going to see eye to eye on the solution because that's how insane she is. And she doesn't know what's going on. She's obviously a puppet, you know, plucked from a bar in New York, you know, back in 2015 or whatever it was. But I, I don't know what to make of this, but it's absolutely infuriating to, to come off the hills of a less than savory election and jump right into more blatant obvious collusion and corruption it's absolutely infuriating and anybody who's even paying uh, ha half as close attention as i am w w is pr probably going insane right now i don't see how anybody could get up and look at this and be like oh well whatever you know not so bad it's like this gaslighting and this manipulation is built to drive people insane